I recently got a Yale-style lock for one of my doors, and because it wasn't uh, a majorly secure situation, um, I decided um, to just get a basic cheap lock. So this is what you might call a generic Yale-type lock. It's not manufactured by Yale, it's just a generic copy. And what actually happens in these locks is that there are five pins, and there are five positions in the key, um, and when you put the key in, it pushes the pins up, and when they all align, it can rotate, and if they don't align, it can't rotate. Easy enough. When it does rotate, that metal bar at the back rotates, and that opens the door. So, it's not terribly, it's not an expensive lock, so I thought, well, let's try picking it, because, um, Lock picking is considered by some as a hobby, and I've tried it in the past just for fun. You can get the tools online quite easily, but I thought, given this just a fairly basic lock, let's try picking it with traditional lock picking things, like paper clips. So we'll take a couple of paper clips. These two are deviously stuck together. There we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten one out completely. Then I'm going to fold it roughly in the middle and pinch it closed, but not all the way closed. So it provides us a flattish surface and then I'm going to fold it at the end in a tunnel. And the reason for this is that this is going to be used to apply a little bit of rotational pressure into the lock uh, like that. It's just um, to make sure that when I push the pins up, they are the friction holds them in place. So um, I'll just tweak that a little bit. The next uh, device, well, the only other device, is something to jiggle the pins with. So I'll straighten out one end of this paper clip, and I shall fold it up just a little tiny bit and then back down again to form a sort of ramp. Nothing really complicated. And that's what I'm going to use to press and jiggle the pins. So it's locked at the moment, and I'm going to put that torquing tool in, and then apply the, the rotational pressure to it, and just start jiggling pins. No real science to this, it's really, oh, and there it goes already, that's it picked. That didn't take long, did it? Shall we try that again? So I'll pull that out, I'll try and get this out again. Uh, use the key to twist it round till it locks again. That's it locked. So the torquing key goes in to apply the rotational pressure, and then as you press the pins up, when they reach their... Um, <coughs> locking position, they tend to click and stick. So just by combing backwards and forwards along the pins, you can unlock the lock. Obviously, you couldn't really use enough pressure against this to um, counteract the spring of the actual locking catch. But once you've actually got it locked, it won't actually relock again until it gets back down to its default position. So you can use any key to, or a screwdriver, just put it in and then use it to actually open the door. So, um, yeah, it just shows that um, basic locks are not very secure at all. You should always look for some that have at least some sort of element of lock picking protection in them.